Welcome again to another preview video. This is for the newly announced Storm Drive. The Drive is the next ball in their signature line to follow the Timeless. Uh, the Drive was once again developed with Jason Belmonte. It features the same dual drive core that's in the Timeless. And to get right into it, the part that I find most interesting is that the cover is R2S Nano Hybrid. And this is significant for a couple of reasons. One, R2S is R2S, so you know what you're getting there. But it's been blended with the Nano technology, and the Nano cover has two very dominant traits. It blends wet dry very well, and it doesn't stand up on friction. So you can always count on the cover to give you that super, just very true and consistent read. Now, two, we've seen nano cover stocks in both solid and pearl before, but this is the first hybrid cover that we've seen that the, that the nanotech has been involved with, period. I mean, there haven't been any special overseas releases or anything. Now, the timeless was fairly polarizing. I think most of that had to do with how big of a marketing push there was for it just to kind of have it end up being fairly conditioned or bowler specific and just, just not for everyone. The timeless and I didn't get along generally. I don't like stuff that goes that long and shapes up that firm, so it gave me some angle issues. However, the idea to begin with, being that it was developed with Belmo, it was to give higher rev rates and not just specifically two-handed bowlers, but higher rev rates, a uh, flatter look through the pocket in a reactive vehicle. You know, bigger rev rates often have trouble with reactives being too strong and or too strong through the pocket, so uh, it ended up being a ball that I either told people absolutely or absolutely not on. But it's important to have balls like that. When you, design, when you have a ball that's too versatile, most of the time it ends up being really good for a lot of people in a lot of conditions, but not really great at any one specific thing. Uh, then you have balls like the Timeless that, given the right circumstance, will give you a look that you don't have with anything else and that nobody else in the building has. And I have several balls like that. They only go to specific tournaments. They only come out in specific circumstances. Uh, the Danger is one of them. It's just like the Timeless was. It's not the best look the majority of the time. But when it is, you're going to have the best look in the building. Uh, just I think the issue for most people with the Timeless was how overboard the hype train was. It just automatically turned a lot of people off and made what was otherwise a, you know, just a your average condition specific ball, something that everybody just kind of dogged on or hated. So now when you hear the word nano, I automatically think sport conditions. The the nano cover gives you a great balance of traction control. I've never seen a ball with the nano cover uh, that wasn't continuous or that stood up on friction. Uh, the Drive should be a more user-friendly or more versatile version of the Timeless. If you go to Storm's Facebook page, there's a live video that Belmo did where he throws several shots. And if you go to the website, I've got the, uh, the link to the ball page down in the description below. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's some short one-shot samples of the ball in action. And the shape looks to me to be trademark nano type stuff. So... I'm interested to see how the blend with R2S will affect it, and since we haven't seen anything hybrid nano before, I'm not going to speculate this time because there, there's too many things going on here. I mean, the, the dual drive core is unique with the high RG and high differential. R2S nano is brand new, and it's hybrid, so there's too much new there, or too much different, rather, uh, to really offer any kind of realistic guesstimate until I have it in my hands. Um, now, in the design intent... PDF that you can see if you scroll down further on the web page. I've also scrolled it here on the screen. Um, they say that there's both increased mid lane traction, which makes sense, but also more entry angle, which is interesting. Now, the drive releases on February 9th with the Sonic, so I'll have videos for both of those up in about a week and a half when I get my hands on them. Initial impressions are at least that it's a different look than the Timeless. The ball motion looks, like I said, just vintage, nano, hard arc type stuff. So I'm actually pretty optimistic on this one. And if nothing else, Sonic will be there to save the day. So let's all keep an open mind. And February 9th can end up being twice as awesome as we expected it to be in the first place. So that's what I got for now. Thanks for watching.